Picture this. You're scrolling through your phone and suddenly you see a headline that makes you drop everything. Scientists reverse aging by seven years in monkeys. Now, before you roll your eyes and think, oh great, another miracle cure that only works on lab mice eating kale smoothies, hold up. This time, it's different. And I mean scary different. Chinese scientists just pulled off something that sounds like it came straight out of a Marvel movie. They took some old monkeys, the equivalent of your 70-year-old grandpa, shot them up with genetically modified supercells, and these monkeys literally got younger. Not just felt younger, their brains, bones, and even their baby-making equipment started working like they were teenagers again. This isn't some distant sci-fi fantasy. This is happening right now. To understand why this is such a bombshell, let me paint you a picture of what aging really is. Imagine your body is like a smartphone. When it's new, everything works perfectly. Apps open instantly, the battery lasts all day. But after a few years, the battery barely makes it to lunch and apps crash constantly. That's exactly what happens to your body. Your cells, the tiny workers that keep everything running, start getting lazy, cranky, and eventually just give up. Scientists call these quitters senescent cells, but I call them zombie cells. They're not quite dead, but they're not alive either. They just sit there, taking up space and releasing toxic chemicals that make all their neighbors sick too. It's like having a coworker who not only stopped doing their job, but also spends all day complaining and bringing everyone else down. That accumulation of cellular slackers, that's aging. Until now, we thought this was just life. You get old, things break down, game over. But what if there was a factory reset button? Let me read you something directly from the actual study published in the journal Cell that will make your jaw drop. Aging is characterized by a deterioration of stem cell function, but the feasibility of replenishing these cells to counteract aging remains poorly defined. Translation, your body's repair crew gets lazy as you age and nobody knew if we could actually fix that. Until now. The researchers didn't just throw some regular stem cells at the problem. No, they created what they call senescence-resistant human mesenchymal progenitor cells, or SRCs for short. Think of these as stem cells that went to superhero boot camp. They're genetically fortified to be basically indestructible. And get this, after 44 weeks of treatment, these aged monkeys showed a systemic reduction in aging indicators, including less zombie cells, reduced chronic inflammation, and reversed tissue degeneration. Their brains got sharper, their reproductive systems kicked back into gear, and here's the best part, zero adverse effects. Zero. You know what makes this absolutely insane? This isn't some experiment on cells in a petri dish. This isn't even mice. These are primates monkeys that share 93% of our DNA. Their bodies work almost exactly like ours. And here's the real kicker from the study. This study provides initial evidence that genetically modified human mesenchymal progenitors can slow primates aging, highlighting the therapeutic potential of regenerative approaches. Let me translate that scientific speak. We can hack aging in primates. And if we can do it in primates, Guess what's next? Your grandma might be doing TikTok dances at 120, not because she's trying to be cool, but because she actually has the energy for it. The researchers discovered these supercells work partly through tiny packages called exosomes, basically cellular care packages that spread the anti-aging love throughout the entire body. It's like having millions of tiny doctors running around fixing everything that's broken, and your body doesn't reject them. No immune system freak out, no cancer, just pure, unadulterated rejuvenation. This isn't just a small step forward, it's a leap that will flip everything we know about aging on its head. Okay, so here's where it gets wild. Scientists at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, led by a researcher named Guangqi Liu, basically said, what if we could create Captain America's cells? They took regular human stem cells, the body's repair crew, and gave them a serious genetic upgrade. They inserted a special gene called FOXO3, which is the cellular equivalent of that friend who somehow looks 25 at their 40th birthday party. These enhanced cells, called SRCs, are like stem cells on steroids. They're stress-proof, like someone who stays perfectly calm during Black Friday shopping. They're anti-aging, literally refusing to get old. 
And they're cancer resistant, because nobody wants supercells that turn evil. But here's where the really clever part is. These cells don't just help themselves. They're like those overachieving neighbors who make everyone else's lawn look better. They release tiny packages called exosomes. Think of them as cellular care packages filled with anti-aging goodies. Now, you can't just test this stuff on humans right away, so they went to our evolutionary cousins, crab-eating macaques. These weren't just any monkeys. These were old monkeys, the equivalent of 60 to 70-year-old humans. We're talking monkeys with arthritis, memory problems, and probably complaining about kids these days. For nearly a year, they gave these elderly monkeys bi-weekly injections of the supercells. And what happened next sounds like something out of a science fiction movie. First, their brains. The monkeys' cognitive function improved dramatically. They went from forgetting where they put their bananas to solving puzzles like monkey Einsteins. Brain skins showed their neurons firing like they were young again. The biological age of their brain cells reversed by six to seven years. Then their bones got denser and stronger. Osteoporosis, gone. These monkeys went from needing a walker to probably being able to do monkey parkour. And here's where it gets really interesting. The treatment restored their reproductive systems. Male monkeys started producing healthy sperm again, and female monkeys' ovaries reversed their biological age by five years. Just imagine telling your grandma she could have kids again. Actually, don't. That's terrifying. But here's the plot twist nobody saw coming. It wasn't actually the supercells doing all the work. Remember those exosomes I mentioned? Those tiny care packages? Turns out they were the real heroes. The scientists discovered that these microscopic bubbles were carrying special cargo, anti-inflammatory molecules like tiny firefighters putting out the flames of aging, youth-promoting proteins, basically cellular Botox, and special genetic instructions like software updates for your cells. When they isolated just the exosomes and gave them to old mice, the mice also got younger. It's like discovering that you don't need the whole smartphone, just the operating system update. This is huge because it means we might not even need to inject people with cells. We could potentially just use the exosomes, making the treatment safer, easier, and way more scalable. Now, before you start planning your 150th birthday party, let's pump the brakes a bit. This treatment isn't available at your local pharmacy yet. We're probably still years away from human trials. But, and this is a big but, this research just proves something revolutionary. Aging is not inevitable. It's hackable. Think about what this could mean. Your parents could live to see their great, great grandchildren. Age-related diseases like Alzheimer's could become as treatable as a common cold. The phrase, you're too old for that, might become obsolete. But it also raises some serious questions. If everyone lives to 150, where do we put everyone? Will this be only for the rich? And do we really want our politicians living even longer? Look, whether you're excited or terrified by this, one thing is clear. We're on the verge of hacking the aging process itself. This isn't just about living longer. It's about living better. Imagine being 80 with the energy of a 30-year-old. Imagine your grandparents being able to play sports with you instead of just watching from the sidelines. The research shows we're not just dreaming anymore. We're doing. So here's my question for you. If you could reverse your age by seven years, would you do it? And more importantly, what would you do with those extra years? Think about it. Today's science fiction is tomorrow's medical treatment, and tomorrow might be coming a lot sooner than we think.